Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub. I've mentioned many times that probably my favorite SEO tool to use is Google Search Console. There's just a ton of data inside of it that you can use for optimizing your sites and, and looking for opportunities, but it does have one big flaw, and that's its limit on how much data it provides to you. Now with newer sites and smaller sites, you may not run into this as a problem, but when a site starts getting popular and you're getting a lot more traffic, you will run into this. And this is a site, I'll show you an example, um, that's not even a, a you know enormously popular site, but gets a fair amount of traffic, about 300,000 visits a month. Mm -hmm. And if we look at average position, it will highlight this problem even more. If we scroll down, we're going to sort by position. And you see how it's, this is the problem. Google Search Console limits you to a thousand rows of data. And when you do that, especially on a popular site, you can see almost all these thousand search queries that it's giving me are inside the top 10. There's very few outside the top 10. I'm missing a ton of data here about other queries um, outside of the, the top 10 because of this thousand row limit. There are some workarounds with this, including you can filter, use different filters to try to sort the data a little more to, to get into, dig into it a little deeper. You can also export everything into BigQuery, but I've found that most people are not really familiar with working with BigQuery, and so that's not really an option for them. I'm gonna give you a free option on how you can get around this and see all of your data inside Search Console. Before I do that though, I wanna make sure that you head over to the seopub.com Sign up for the email list there where I send out tips like this every single week. We also have a free Slack community if you want to join where we chat about different topics in SEO. You can ask questions, get help from the community, and it's completely free to join. All right, so the solution I have for you to get around this problem in Search Console is actually something I shared a few years ago. I've I created this inside of, uh, at the time it was Google Data Studio, now it's Looker Studio. It's a free report here that you can use, and you can use this in to identify Search Console opportunities and to sort the data in a lot of different ways. I'll have a link directly to this in the description below. And all you need to do is click on the three dots, make a copy, and you'll have a copy for yourself. And if you wanna edit this to you know, add any other options in it, you can certainly do that. What you need to do then is just make sure that you're using whatever Google account you have access to uh, Google Search Console on and any accounts that you have access to will show up in this drop-down box. You can pull this up and you can access any, any of your accounts that you're working in there. To show you how this works, I'm just gonna use the default Google data right now that they provide. And you can take the data, you can look at specific landing pages. So if there's certain URLs that you wanna look at, you can certainly do that. Um, by default, it's just gonna show all your pages. You can sort by device. So if you want to see just mobile um, search results, just desktop, you can do that. You can sort by country. So if you want to just look at certain countries, how you're performing. And these are the really the most useful filters is you can look, if you want to see search queries that are showing between uh, average position between 15 and 25, you can enter those values here and it will sort all the data and just show you search queries that are showing up between 15 and 25. Um, you can also change this instead of between, you can use greater than, less than, wh whatever you wanna do there. You can also look at certain queries. So if you just have a certain like topic cluster that you wanna look at, and you just want, you know, say a, a term on there is flowcharts, and you have a whole bunch of content around flowcharts, you could enter flowchart here or flowcharts, and it'll pull up all the different queries with that. And just like in Google Search Console, you can change this and sort it in different ways. You can use regex filters to sort uh, multiple queries really easily. And then we also have the impressions. So if you want to look for certain impression volumes, you want queries that are only showing impressions between 5,000 and 15,000, you can do that. And you can also have different filters. So if you want greater than, less than, whatever you want to do there. The big thing here is Search Console has that limit of just a thousand rows of data for you. So if I change the, uh, and you can also sort sort by date, of course. Um, if I change this here to this year, so we get a little more data in here. And now if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see there's 59,000 rows here compared to the thousand limit I would have inside of Google Search Console. And just to show you an example, the site that I was looking at inside Google Search Console, if I pull them up, 
and I'll do the same um, date range that we were doing there. So now if I scroll to the bottom, you can see there's 151,000 rows of data instead of that limit of just 1,000 rows of data inside of Google Search Console. So there's a lot more data and inf information here that I can use. So again, this is just a simple free report that I created inside Looker Studio that you can grab a copy of. Just make sure you go to the three dots, hit make a copy. You can make any changes to it that you want and uh, use it yourself. Again, if you haven't already, head over to the SEO Pub and sign up for the email newsletter there. And that's it for this video. I'll catch everyone in the next one.